Hi, my name is Jim Gaffney. I'm the Executive Director of the Theta Tau Professional Engineering Fraternity, and I'm coming to you from the makeshift central office in the living room of my home in Fort Lauderdale. Due to the various local and state business closure and shelter-in-place orders, we are going to keep the central office closed for the foreseeable future, but I want you to rest assured that your central office and your fraternity remains open for business and fully operational. Myself and the rest of the central office staff are all working remotely from our homes here in South Florida. Speaking of the central office staff, it occurs to me that we've hired a couple of people in the last few months and haven't really introduced them to you. So in the Velocitus this upcoming Tuesday, you will be able to read the bios of our two newest staff members, J.P. Winkle, who is our communications and programming coordinator, and Ernestine Bethia, who is our new office manager. So again, the Velocitus will come out this Tuesday afternoon, and I hope that you will take a look at it because everything that I'm going to tell you in this video will be in there, along with a lot more detail and some other important information. A lot of questions we've been getting have had to do with convention. Convention is still going forward as planned in Tampa in August. Registration remains open. We recognize that due to the current situation, it may be a little bit harder to get the money together to register for convention. So we are extending the early registration deadline until June 15th. So if you register before June 15th, you will have an opportunity to register at the early price of $275. If something changes, if we have to postpone or cancel or in some other way change convention, uh, you will get a full refund. So any money that you pay towards your registration will be refunded to you in full and promptly if we have to cancel, postpone, or in some other way, change convention. Credential forms are also coming due soon. Due to the fact that almost all of you are away from campus uh, and therefore physical signatures are hard to come by, we are going to move the credential form into the CMT. We have received credential forms from a number of chapters. Those forms will be honored. You don't have to worry about going into the CMT and doing the form again. If you submitted it to me or to the central office email, it's been recorded. You're good to go. We will enter the data into the CMT for you. You'll actually be able to go in and see it yourself if you need to make changes to it later. Uh, credential forms are normally due, I think, next week. Uh, we're going to extend the deadline until the end of April. The link to the credential form, which will go online on Tuesday, will be in the Velocitus. We'll also send out uh, a standalone email with the link to the credential form on Tuesday uh, afternoon so that you have a separate email with that link. Uh, another question that we've been getting a lot is about how to conduct electronic voting for chapter elections and have it be consistent with the laws and the ritual of the fraternity. Over the weekend, an email is going to go out with guidelines on how to do electronic voting that is consistent with the ritual and the laws of the fraternity. The link to that document will also be in the Velocitus on Tuesday. Any questions about that, please reach out to your regional director or the central office and we'll be happy to answer them. Finally, this upcoming Thursday, April 16th at 9 p.m., Myself and other members of the Executive Council will be hosting a live AMA on YouTube. The link to that will go out again in the Velocitus on Tuesday, and we'll also send out a link uh, via social media on Thursday afternoon. Uh, again, Thursday, April 16th, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, will be an AMA with myself and, the and members of the Executive Council. Not all of them will be able to be there, but most of them will. Uh, come prepared with your fraternity-related questions. Uh, and we look forward to having an opportunity to uh, interact with you online and share some brotherhood during this strange time that we're all living through. So with that, I thank you. I hope that you are well. I hope that you are staying safe, staying healthy, and staying home. I look forward to meeting many of you this summer, and I wish you well.